Now this month is Craniofacial and Cleft Palate Awareness Month and joining me this morning from the Women's Hospital of Texas is Dr. Eric Payne, Craniofacial Plastic Surgeon. Good morning, thank you so much for joining me. Good morning. So what is this Awareness Month? I know July is the Awareness Month for this. What is it? What, how many Texans are impacted by this? This month is about cleft lip and cleft palate as well as other craniofacial uh, abnormalities and uh, typically in Texas there's approximately 1 in 600 to 1 in 900 babies that are born with a cleft lip or a cleft palate which is the most common cleft uh, deformity that you can have. Mm -hmm. that, that is probably more babies than I would have imagined so it's not it's not it's not really considered rare is it no it's uh it is you know uh fairly common in, in terms of deformities that, that kids are born with yeah um and there are several things that we want to make everybody aware of uh to watch out for so what are some of the known causes when like when would a mother find out that she has this what what could ha go into a pregnancy that would lead to something like this so first off there we don't know an exact cause because everything uh, every every child's a little bit different but there can be some family history or genetic factors that can contribute oh, to okay. this or there is some environmental factors for the mother such as smoking or alcohol use during pregnancy and even you know infections that can go on um, during the pregnancy that can affect this and then if a mother finds out that the baby she is going to have will have a cleft palate, what's the process like for them, like from diagnosis to surgery, what, what does it look like? So typically we can diagnose pretty early on in the pregnancy during the 20 week um, pregnancy portion of uh, that full the, anatomy scan. The anatomy scan is going to show anybody us, who's had babies remembers that big scan yes, right in the middle. And mm -hmm. you can see a lot of times they will see on the face uh, view a 3D image. You can see the cleft lip if it's there. The palate is a little bit more difficult to diagnose uh, because it's a little bit trickier on the ultrasound, but that can be diagnosed yeah. as well. And so at that point, then a lot of times. Uh, parents will come to see me after the diagnosis and I'll go over what what the treatment plan will be in the future and help help them uh, kind of guide them through the process. Our producer saying that we have pictures of Violet, right Sam? Can you tell us about can we bring the picture up? Yeah, can you tell us about this? So Violet is an adorable little she girl. She is adorable. <laughs> and she was born at the Women's Hospital and I was uh, privileged to be taking care of her uh, through her journey. She had trouble initially, like all children born with clefts, uh, uh -huh. with feeding and that's so that's the initial thing and so we helped her with feeding. Yeah. Um, she stayed for quite a while in the ICU and then uh, at approximately four months of age we repaired her lip and then at about uh, you know uh, a year and a half old we Aww. prepared her, her uh, palate and we repaired that and she's doing quite well and she's feeding normally now mm -hmm. um, she's interacting She'll be talking with soon can yes. she can she babble and speak? yeah yeah so she's oh, babbling oh, and wonderful. so the next part will be getting her connected with a speech uh, pathologist okay so she will have those like kind of like long-term effects to kind of overcome yes just yes. because of the, the how the mouth was formed yeah how interesting. Well, she is adorable. She yes. looks beautiful, so I'm happy yeah. that you're able to help her. Yeah. Um, I know you mentioned that there were things that mod mothers are doing during the pregnancy that could maybe lead to this. What can all women do to prevent a cleft palate? So it's really important that you get your prenatal care and to uh, take prenatal vitamins. Uh, folate deficiency has been associated with increased risk as okay. well. Um, so get your regular checkup with your OD OB doctor so that mm -hmm. um, you can help uh, prevent this uh, in the future if you can. Yeah, so many women think that the prenatal vitamins or the, you know, regular prenatal visits are something to overlook because if the pregnancy is going healthy, they can be very simple and yes. they tend to think, oh, it's kind of a waste of time. Yeah. But th these are the complications that can come from if you don't take those things seriously. Yes, yes, they can. Yep. All right, Dr. Payne, thank you so much for coming live in studio to join me. I appreciate yes. it. Thank you for All having me. great information. Thank you for coming from the Women's Hospital of Texas. And of course, you can go to click to Houston.com to see this full interview.